Hi there, Toaster from Aussie 8. I'm here with uh, Barney this morning. Make sure you can't see Barney, let me get him. Barney, say hi. <laughs> so this is um, part two of our Starlink in motion set of videos. The first one I showed you how to disassemble the Starlink dish from the motorized housing just to make it a bit uh, slimmer and easier to, to mount in the car. I don't have the part that I want to use, which will allow me to power the Starlink direct from the um, car's DC uh, that comes from the cigarette lighters. Instead, I've got a temporary setup today where I'm actually using an inverter. This one here, um, PowerTech, it costs me 70 Australian dollars. It says that it does 150 watts. It's a modified sine wave, so it's not ideal for many situations. Um, but I think for Starlink, based on the research I did, this is probably going to be fine. has a cable which will put in 12 volts and then will output um, 240 volts AC through an Australian power point. In a subsequent video, I'll show you hopefully me powering the Starlink phased array directly from the car's battery and bypassing needing the Starlink router and the 240 volt AC inverter. So for those of you that watched my previous video, uh, you'll remember that I separated the phased array from the housing. Since then I've also removed the um, metal uh, mount. I didn't show that in my previous video, but there are plenty of other YouTubers that show how to, how to remove that. But yes, yeah, so I've separated the um, phased array. All that we're left with is this very thin antenna and this in fact has all of the computing that Starlink needs you really other than power coming up this cable uh, and internet going out there is nothing else you need you don't actually don't need the Starlink uh, router so yeah it's a pretty pretty slim setup so I'm hoping to to mount this under the glass roof so this is the Starlink router that I'm talking about which comes with a regular power plug on it which actually needs 240 volts AC the car only has DC so we would have to use that inverter I showed you before as a temporary measure to at least power this to get the Starlink working um, and then test out how Starlink goes while mounted in the car and while the car is in in motion all right, so here we are in the car. Um, so the plan is to mount this onto the glass roof up here. Just as a temporary measure, I'm just gonna use tape. It's gonna look a bit, bit ordinary, but other than Barney, nobody sits in the, in the back of the car. So we'll see how that, how that goes. And then wire it up and test it out. Here we go with the uh, good old scotch. Here we go with the good old scotch tape. And my teeth. So I've never, I haven't tried this yet. You're the first to witness me doing this. So um, if it all falls on my head because I didn't test it out beforehand. All right, let's give this a try. Probably need more tape, but let's just see if it, the four pieces will hold the weight initially. Not too bad. So the other thing that I need to do is obviously you know, cover up this exposed electronics. Um, it's not ideal. Um, I do have a sunshade, which I'm going to put back here. I've actually taken it out for this uh, video, but I'll put it back in and that will offer some protection. There's nobody in the car back here except for Barney, and he's only tiny, so I don't think that he will reach it. Um, that All right, well, that seems um, pretty secure. So this is what the uh, temporary setup's going to look like. So here's the inverter, we'll plug that into the cigarette lighter in the car. Uh, we will then plug the Starlink router into that. 
that will give us mains power, AC it to 240 volts. So we'll have the router just somewhere in the car and then use and then use the cable up to the phased array. So I will do that now. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to come through this way so that the camera can track me. All right, so let's see if this works. So here's the, um, uh, Barney, you're in the way. Can we have you come over this way? Come on, over this way, please. Over here, sit down there, thank you. All right, so we've got the router plugged into the inverter. Here's the inverter's cigarette lighter cable. So we'll plug that into the cigarette lighter, which um, is conveniently located over here. Uh, I can hear the fan of the inverter going already. Um, and hopefully you can see the little white light. That's the only indicator on the Starlink router. The, the little white light is now on. So the router is powered, which is a good sign. Uh, that we then plug the really long cable into the bottom of the router and into the phased array. And we are good to go. So in the next video, we will have tested this setup between Port Hedland, which is where we are now, and Caratha, which is our next stop. Um, and I'll let you know how the connectivity goes. So Barney and I, thank you for watching us through to the end here of our um, dodgy setup of Starlink in, uh, in a Model Y. But yeah, like I said, we will improve, the, if it works, we will improve the um, setup and obviously you know, kind of more professionally wire it. Um, so yes, stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.